Hey, 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 people, what's up? This is Muki, and welcome back to my channel, Hunza Girl. Anyhow, it's been a long time. I have not done any videos for you guys. For that, I am really sorry. It's just that I have been so busy with work and other stuff. Now I'm back with Bang. Yes. Okay, so today my video is about IELTS writing tasks too. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, so in IELTS writing 2, okay, everybody thinks that IELTS writing task 2 is really, really tough and I agree with that. Yeah, because it's lengthy and you have to uh, be very, you know, logical and you have to write to the point. You don't have to write anything extra and of course, you have to write like 250 words or uh, so. It's uh, stressful. I agree with that. But trust me, believe me. If you do practice, because writing task two in IELTS requires lots of practice, like extensive practice. If you do that, then writing task two is very easy and it's very simple. All right. There are some... Uh, methods, there are some techniques, there are some strategies which uh, you have to follow. If you are following that, so believe me, you gonna get really good marks in writing tasks too, okay? As I mentioned in my previous videos that I couldn't finish uh, writing task one, okay? Because I had no time. Uh, I did a uh, writing task two before because it's lengthy and it has more marks. So I recommend you guys that please uh, attempt writing task two before. Yeah. So um, here are the simple steps which will help you to get good IELTS band eight or nine in writing task two. Okay, first let's talk about uh, what type of essays IELTS examiner give you because writing task two is about essays. So there are five kinds of uh, essays. Number one is opinion. Okay, you have to write about opinion, one opinion. Okay, number two, uh, they give you topic on agree, disagree. Number three, they give you talk about advantages and talk about disadvantages. In IELTS writing task two, uh, some questions are about discussion. They just ask, give you a journal uh, statement and they will ask you to discuss about it. Number five topic they give you about um, problem solving. They will give you a problem and they will ask you uh, what are your you know solution for this problem. So. There are five types of essays in writing task two. Okay. Uh, number second point is you have to write at least 250 words. If it says 250 words, it doesn't mean that you have to write just 250 words. No, you have to write more than 250 words. You have to write 260 words, 270 words. Trust me, you have to do this. Okay. And number three uh, point is you have to uh, write on topic. Do not talk anybody else. If the topic is talking about um, online education is the better form of education, then you have to talk about online education. That's it. You don't have to talk about anything else. Uh, if they if if they talk about that mobile uh, gaming is not good for you know health for mental health, so like, you have to talk about only that topic. Do not talk about anything else. Just stick to the topic. Number four uh, is grammar. Use correct grammar, please. It's very important. Use correct grammar. Grammar. Do not use incorrect grammar. 
and other thing is uh, some people say oh you have to uh, use really difficult words and terminologies and vocabulary no it's not important uh, guys do not worry about vocabulary just use simple words if your sentence and if your essay is making sense with simple words use that and if you are writing about the topic and your structure is right and everything is making sense and it has logical structure and if you are using simple words oh you are gonna get nine bang i i i, I guarantee you trust me so do not worry about you know high uh, you know difficult vocabularies do not use just simple words make your life easier and achieve your goal and number seven uh, point is use linking words now what are link linking words for example however although even though whereas in addition to that additionally so these are uh, the linking words you have to use one linking word overall um try to use these words and try to practice uh write sentences uh, you know which have these linking words you can google you know some examples it's easy keep practicing it but do not overuse it and if that sentence is making sense by using these linking words then it's good if you are using linking words even though although however in addition to that and if sentence is not making sense then please do not do not use linking words another point is uh, you uh, uh, try to uh, use uh, such words which join sentences for example which for example that for example and for example because i cannot for like i'll give you example example of such uh, words which join sentences i don't like to wake up in the morning because i sleep late at night so this is how we use these words uh, which that it's easy all right okay uh next point which is very 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 important is essay structure it's all about your essay structure okay so there are four points of your essay structure number one is introduction yeah uh, you can write these uh, points in your diary or you can see my screen here and you can just uh, you know screenshot it and and you know save it on your phone so i was talking about essay structure number one is introduction number two is acknowledge which will be your paragraph one number three is agree are you agree with that uh, statement or are you disagree that will be paragraph two and number four point of your essay structure is conclusion so there are four points uh, of your essay structure i repeat introduction then you have to acknowledge which will be your paragraph one agree disagree paragraph two uh, and uh, number four is conclusion okay now the main question is how to write this structure which is important because all your essay is depend on structure so how to write a structure number one you have to give a background statement and it should be neutral number two you have to rewrite the entire question use synonym talk about the same topic but rearrange it rewrite it and use synonym number three you will talk about this essay will argue that why okay are you agree are you disagree you have to give that reason okay so that was paragraph 1 which was introduction now there will be paragraph that was introduction now there is a paragraph 1 
you will restate, you will emphasize, you will rewrite your side one. Are you agree or are you disagree? You have to rewrite the whole sentence. Okay. Number two point of paragraph one, you have to give reasons. Why do you think you are agree? Why do you think you are disagree? So you have to give reasons. You can write one reason, you can write two reasons because uh, you have to write more than 250 words. So you can give one reason or you can give two reasons. I think uh, it would be better if you give two reasons. Uh, it depends on, you, on your you know, number of words you are using. Anyhow, then three point is you have to give examples. Whatever reasons you wrote, you have to give examples. Please, this is a formula. Write down all these points in your diary. Okay. Now, number four is conclusion of your side one. Okay. In the first, you gave your, you know, uh, your statement about side one. Are you agree, disagree? Then you have to conclude that. Okay. Now, we talked about introduction. We talked about paragraph one. Now there is paragraph two. You have to write something about side two. Like you were agree about that statement. Then in paragraph two, you will talk about some people do not agree. So you have to give some statements about that side. Agree? Or not agree you have to talk about that okay number two you have to give reasons same structure it's it has same structure it's easy to remember so you will give reasons then number three you will give examples of those reasons then you will conclude your side two okay because this is paragraph two and paragraph two is about si uh, side two. So you will conclude your side two. So, uh, so far in the structure, there is introduction. There is paragraph one, which is about side one. Then there's paragraph two, which is about side two. Okay, now number four is conclusion. Conclusion has two points. This essay argue that why? You have to talk about uh, what essay has talked about, okay? And number two point of conclusion is give your opinion, which is very important. If you are agree, it should match with your introduction. So you have to give your opinion. You have to extend it, okay? So guys, this is, uh, you know, very simple and uh, you can screenshot all these points uh, for your uh, future reference. However, uh, in my next video, I'm going to share a writing sample of task two for you guys. So it will make much easier for you guys to understand these rules with a writing sample. Uh, I think that sounds good. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you have liked it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and share these videos on your social media and give this video a like and there is a bell icon. Click on that bell icon. Thank you so much. Have a great, great week. Have a great, great, great day. Thank you. Bye.